I don't know how I did myself this time. It's all on my lip and I don't even care. topics we're not doing any deep discussions we're simply baking cookies with glitter so come on let's go Compliments of my class. They got me a gift card for my half birthday. We're gonna do the Betty Crockett's chocolate chip. I believe it's just add water and butter, so that's gonna be dope. I don't even have to get out the eggs. And then we have the pink icing. And you know my brand colors are pink and blue, so I got the blue sprinkles. And I also got some whipped cream, it's still in the fridge, and some blue glitter gel. I was like, uh-oh, we got some blue glitter gel. So we're going to get creative at the end. And we also got some um, non-nail salon did nails. <laughs> I had to let my nails breathe. Number one, instructions. Heat oven to 375. Number two, stir cookie mix, salt and butter, and water in medium bowl until dough forms. Uh-oh, salt and butter. Hold on, let me get it. So the thing is just me and you because this is not a whole lot of cookie mix this is literally enough for like what five cookies not like i'm gonna be eating these all by myself anyway y'all gonna eat some too cookies. Maybe I can make six, but I'm probably just going to add this. you have a little bit of the cookie dough. Here, I even got you a piece with a chocolate chip. Now let them cook. Step number three, bake for 11 to 13 minutes or until edges are light golden brown. Cool two minutes before removing from cookie sheet. 
got it. All right, y'all, 13 minutes. Clock, timer, 13, start. Now be patient, no peeking. Brain health superfoods. Eating some of these all-star foods can improve memory and learning throughout your life. I know, I know, ironically, we eating some cookies today, but I told y'all I'm like, only one. Y'all gonna eat the rest, and my kid gonna eat the rest. <laughs> but here's some um, superfoods. They said beets, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, eggs, olive oil, fish. What you might want to avoid, processed foods, sugar sweetened beverages, and red meat. Don't eat too much of that red meat, y'all. It'll kill you. Let's see. Ooh, I think I saw one in here about sleep. Mm, some of this look real good, look. Ooh, I like this one. The deep sleep difference. Sleep is a critical factor in overall health and well-being. Getting enough sleep can improve heart health and an immune system, clear skin, and it can also promote um, clear skin, and it can also promote weight loss. And sacrificing sleep can lead to some undesirable consequences. It can impair your memory, impede your focus, and increase your risk for several chronic illnesses, y'all. Yeah, I'll be going to sleep at like nine. <laughs> Dial up the deep sleep. The Alzheimer's Association estimates that 12 to 18 percent of Americans 60 and older experience some form of mild cognitive impairment. Dang. Good sleep hygiene. A bad night of sleep here and there doesn't mean you'll get dementia, but it's clear that working to build healthy sleep habits is important. There are a few ways to practice good sleep hygiene, according to doctors and experts. I didn't know anything about no sleep hygiene. Did you? Keeping a regular sleep and wake up schedule can help your body get into a routine and make it easier to fall asleep at night and wake up rested. Skipping alcohol late at night and waiting an hour after waking before you gulp down some coffee in the morning can also help you fall asleep more soundly and avoid a crash midday. Hmm. Hold off on your morning coffee. Consider intermittent fasting. You know, that's like a real big thing right now. Avoid alcohol late at night. Create a sustainable routine. My routine is 9, 9.30, and then I wake up sometime between 4 and 6. All right, I'm going to take a sneak peek at the cookies because I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't want the cookies to burn. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> Here, I'll be right back. Mm, they look ready to me, y'all. They set a crispy golden edge. Doesn't that look like a crispy golden edge to you? Right? We should take them out. Yeah, so now I'm going to just let them cool off. But for the record, there was still... One minute and four seconds left, y'all. 
if I would have let them cook for another minute and four seconds, they straight would have been burnt. So it's a good thing I went with my gut and checked those cookies. And in order for me to decorate them the way I want to, I really, 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 really need them to be all the way cooled down. So it's going to be a minute, but don't worry, I'll be back. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. You ready? Open wide. How is it? Hmm. Oh, let me have some. Mmm, tasty.